Most of us and the people around us are fairly normal, despite our differing looks, sizes, and shapes. Sure, there are a lot of people who are tall, short, fat, or skinny, but sometimes nature has a different fate for some people, and they turn out to be incredibly unique and different. We found 10 unique and courageous individuals that never stop growing, and even parts of their body that refuse to stop growing past their normal size, legs, nose, and even lips. But before we get started, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications, and you'll be the first to know when a new video comes out. Let's begin. Sultan Kosin According to Guinness World Records, Sultan is the world's tallest man measuring 8 feet 8 inches tall. Apparently, he is still growing as in 2009 he measured 8 feet and 1 inch tall. Kosin suffers from gigantism, however, he ended up having a procedure that stopped him from growing any taller, but he will stay the same height. Because of his huge size and carrying around his 330-pound frame, he gets tired easily and has to walk with a cane. Besides being the tallest man, he also holds the record for the largest hands of a living person, and the tip of his middle finger to the wrist measure 11.2 inches. He also held the record for the largest feet, with both of his feet measuring around 1 foot and 2 inches. Robert Wadlow on February 22, 1918, Robert was a perfectly normal 8.7-pound boy and was born to Harold N. Addie Wadlow of Alton, Illinois. The incredible thing, however, is that by the time his first birthday had come, he was 3 feet 4 inches tall. And he didn't stop there. He kept growing taller and faster than anyone his age, towered over his father at age 8, and by the time he was 13, he was 7 feet 4 inches and was the world's tallest Boy Scout. Wadlow ended up breaking the record for world's tallest man when he grew to 8 feet 4 inches in 1937. After graduating high school, Robert went on tour with the Ringling Brothers Circus and later crisscrossed the country to promote the International Shoe Company, which graciously provided Robert's size 37 AA footwear. Despite success, Robert suffered from weakness and lack of feeling or sensation in his legs and his feet, and as he continued to grow, required leg braces and a cane to walk. Brock Brown. This man was born a normal child. However, as he started to grow, it was obvious that there was something different about him, as Brock seemed to be growing at a much faster rate than his friends. By kindergarten, the young boy was already towering over his fellow kindergartners at 5 foot 2 inches tall. The average height of a kindergartner is just a little under 4 feet tall. In fact, he was almost as tall as his mother at this point. At the age of 5 years old, Brock received a rare diagnosis from his doctors that affects about 1 in every 15,000 people. Doctors finally determined that he had a hereditary condition called Soto Syndrome, which is also referred to as Cerebral Gigantism. Some of the doctors told Brock's family that he might not live past his teenage years. When he was 18, he was in Guinness World Records for being the tallest teenager at 7 feet 8 inches. He still hasn't stopped growing and no one knows if he ever will. But he has exceeded the doctor's life expectancy, and he is still growing at a rate of 6 inches a year. Reem Young Hun Born on September 14, 1967, in the Democratic People's Republic of Korea, Reem Young Hun is a basketball player. His dream was to eventually play in the NBA. To follow this plan, Myung Hun moved to Canada to train, but he was unable to play due to a ban on trade with North Korea. The United States State Department eventually allowed him to play on the condition that none of his earnings could be sent back to North Korea. North Korean officials responded by refusing to let Myung Hun leave, forcing the man to give up his NBA dream. Born September 14, 1967, the North Korean basketball player who planned to play in the NBA in the 1990s adopted the name Michael Ray after his favorite basketball player, Michael Jordan. At the time, he was also declared the tallest living human being in the world, with a height of 7 feet 8.5 inches tall. Brahim Takiula He is the tallest man from Morocco and stands 8 feet 1 inch tall. Born January 26, 1982, Brahim grew normally just like any ordinary child until he reached the age of 13, when his rapid growth started. He has the largest feet in the world according to the Guinness Book of Records, his left measuring 1 foot 3 inches in length and his right 1 foot 2.76 inches. He has appeared in a couple of films due to his very tall height. 
His enormous height also places him as the world's second tallest living man, two inches behind Sultan Kosen of Turkey, who stands at 8 foot 3 inches. Claire McCullough was just four years old when everyone started to notice that she was just a few centimeters taller than the rest of the children her age. And while that height gap wasn't unreasonable, by the time she was seven years old, Claire was five feet two inches tall. Everyone reassured the family that it was simply because her mom and dad were tall and this was normal. However, during a triathlon in which Claire was competing, a friend noticed that she looked awkward while she was running. Once a blood test was done, it showed that her growth hormone release in her body was a lot higher than it should be. An MRI showed that she indeed had a tumor on her pituitary gland which causes the gigantism disorder. However, in this case, surgeons were able to actually do something about it and remove the tumor. But in order to do this, they had to remove the pituitary gland completely along with the tumor, which means she will no longer grow anymore past her 5 foot 2 inches. It seems like a good ending, but it's not possible to live without this gland, and medications or injections have to be given on a daily basis to make up for all the things the gland is supposed to do normally. Vikas Apal This native resident of India was said to be the tallest man that ever lived, and was born in 1986. On January 2004, he was reported to be 8 feet 3 inches tall and was still growing. Vikas was also known as Vicky Upal and was from the Haryana state of India. Some photographs were taken of him by the Hindu on September 25, 2006, at a rally held by the Indian National Lok Dal. He was said to measure 8 feet 9 inches tall. There are some unconfirmed reports and some confusion about when he would have stopped growing at 18 years old. However, if the reports are correct, then he didn't stop growing and had picked up another 6 inches in height. Vikas could have been considered the world's tallest living man, but the Guinness Book of Records has strict verification criteria and did not yet measure Vikas Apal. It was also claimed that he had hands that were 13 inches long and feet 19 inches long. Sheridan Larkman This woman from Australia also has a very unique condition, in which her breasts will not stop growing. They started to grow when she was just 8 years old and they haven't stopped since. Sheridan's breast size has caused her to develop mild scoliosis, and she has back and shoulder pain with her cup size ballooning to an adult size D when she was just 10. When she was 16, she had to go to a doctor because of the large size. The interesting thing is that her doctors have no idea why they will not stop growing. Currently, she has been crowdfunding to get a breast reduction because of the harassment that she gets from people on a daily basis and has been the object of staring, pointing, and some bad comments, and gets lots of inbox messages from people around the world asking for photos. But it is not something that she wants attention from. Pamela Ickert When Pamela was just 15 years old, she started to get acne and blemishes on her skin which at the time seemed like a fairly normal occurrence. But soon after, this skin problem started to spiral out of control. Sometimes the skin blemishes were so severe that her skin would actually turn purple. And just when she thought things couldn't get worse, her nose started to grow and become disfigured, and it seemed that it wouldn't stop growing. Of course, this caused a lot of problems when she was growing up. As her nose started to grow and change shape, she was devastated and felt helpless as there seemed to be no cure for the problem. And for over 30 years, her nose continued to grow. Of course, when you have such a problem, life becomes extremely difficult. The problem is that she was suffering from something called rhinophyma, a rare form of severe rosacea. However, in 2016, a cosmetic surgeon offered to perform surgery on her nose to correct its size and shape. The difference is remarkable, and she can finally live a normal life away from the embarrassment of the condition. Robert Smith this man was born by caesarean section and doctors said he would only live for a month as he was born prematurely. Robert was diagnosed with hydrocephalus, which is a condition where there is an accumulation of cerebrospinal fluid within the brain. By the time he was two years old, he had eight surgeries to drain the fluid from his brain. At the age of 10, he had a titanium plate inserted into his head before being diagnosed with Proteus syndrome at 16. Proteus syndrome results in bone overgrowth. This overgrowth is usually asymmetrical, so corresponding body parts are not affected in the same way. He had 21 more bones in his hand than a normal person would have. He was also diagnosed with gigantism. Before Robert passed away because of the debilitating conditions, he was 7 feet tall and was still growing, and had undergone 74 operations. An interesting fact 
If you are familiar with Joseph Merrick, who was called the Elephant Man, it is now thought this was the condition that affected him rather than neurofibromatosis. We hope you enjoyed this video and want to remind you to make sure you are subscribed and turn on notifications so you'll be the first to know when a new video arrives. We appreciate you and want to thank you for watching.